Okay, y'all, this is the second video I want to come on and make. I finally told my mother about, my mama about the pills that are, the ecstasy pills situation with my ex that I was addicted to, that I was popping pills. Bitch, I'm being honest. And side note, there's a bird in this trash can eating pizza crust. That's how you know you're in the hood. Is a bird eating pizza crust? Are you serious? Birds don't eat pizza crust. He gonna be fat. That's what he gonna be. But yeah. I don't know if it's considered a crow or a raven. But he gonna be a fat black bird. Whatever kind of bird he is. But anyways, I finally told her that I was popping pills for the last seven months on and off seven seven and a half months on and off i want to say seven and a half yeah i think it was seven i think it was seven and a half i mean but yeah i finally told her and i'm like i don't have a craving for well i told her i don't have a craving for it every now and again i do have a craving and she was like well i blame your abusive ex because without him you wouldn't have known what those pills was or how to get them i knew what the pills was because the ex before then was telling me about it But I, the whole time, even when he told me about it, I still didn't know where to get them. Or how much they cost. Or how to pay for it. But yeah. It is, I blame that on him too. Because before then, like, I waited until I was 30 to do any kind of harsh pills, harsh drugs. And yeah, you count weed as a drug. But me, I don't because weed don't get me high. I can smoke weed all day long. Don't do no, It doesn't affect me at all. Because my drug of choice is alcohol. i rather drink. But. It's the, and i rather drink instead of doing other drugs. But. So like. um, I popped my first pill on my 30th birthday. That was September of last year. September 30th of last year. That's the first time I, pop, I ever popped a pill. Non-prescribed in my life. Man, yeah, some of the side, one of the side effects is that it's supposed to make you want to have sex. And I'm going to just be straight out honest with y'all. It's supposed to make you want to have sex. A lot. Like, super. But, I mean, yeah, it did do that to me. And then I started eventually, the more so I popped and I started getting immune to it. Even though my sex drive is already high as it is anyway. And I'm just being open, honest, and 100% real with y'all. My sex drive is already high as it is anyway. So... I mean, it just enhanced it a little bit, which I felt like the more I started getting into it, it didn't really do too much or nothing to me. And he kept telling me, my ex was like, well, the pill's supposed to make you horny, and it's not doing nothing to you. It don't seem like it's doing anything to you because you don't have sex like we used to. What's the point of having, and then on top of that, I'm like, what's the point of having sex with somebody that keep putting you down afterwards and keep talking bad about how to sex, to keep talking bad about the sex afterwards? Like, one minute you're like, it's good, then the next minute you're talking bad about it. Like, so what's the point? Why would I want to continue to have sex with somebody who talks about me like that? In multiple ways. So, I'm like, I just keep it to myself. Because, like, and then when I told him, I said, and then when I do tell you, it ain't like you do anything about it. Like, I'm just left to fend for myself. So, what's the point? Then it started, like, when I started getting used to it, it started tearing my stomach up. Like, I didn't like the way it was making my stomach hurt like that. So I'm like, nah, this feel worse than period cramps. And I'm being honest with y'all. Period cramps hurt like hell for being a female. And y'all females who get cramps and still have periods and stuff like that, y'all know, they did things, that hurts. And for the dudes, that shit does hurt. I can't say worse than labor pain because I never experienced labor pain. I don't have no kids, but... I would say it's up there with it to me because I cramps a lot. I cramps bad. That hurts. But I have to take it hurts to the point where I have to take maybe an ibuprofen depending on dosage one or two. If it's low dosage, I have to take two. If it's one, if it's high dosage, like between 600 and 800 or if they got 500, but I say between 500 milligrams and 800, I'll just take one. Or sometimes, like the um, ibuprofen I was prescribed by the doctor, 
at the hospital for my pain for my finger when he broke my finger I will um I'll take a 600 and two over the counter 200s that'll make 800 and then I'll be good because 800 milligrams always take away all my pains anyway after they put me to sleep y'all gotta call Metro this bus taking too goddamn long for real it's 11 57 but yeah it's probably the next one probably coming at 1205 I hope or 1210 but yeah y'all I'm like wow anyways back to the little story time I'm giving I'm telling y'all um like I said, and then the uh, si uh, second side effect is that it's supposed to make you stay up. When I first took it, it kept me up and had me hype and crunk. But the more I start popping them and the more I start taking them, I'm like, build it high. I knew I was building an immune, the immune bit. I was getting immune to it and getting used to it. The effects of it, you know, something in my nose, and I'm sorry if it is, and I've been talking the whole time with something in my nose. But yeah. I don't want to dig on my dig in my nose on camera, but yeah, like how I knew it was that it wasn't keeping me up. Like he kept saying, "You keep taking the pills and you keep falling asleep." I'm like, I mean, I'm sorry if it's making if I'm still sleepy with the pill. The pill making me even more sleepier than I was at first without taking the pills. So I'm like, if I want to go to sleep, I'm gonna go to sleep. So. I'm like, you can't say nothing that way. I know why you're not sleeping because you got cocaine in your system, weed in your system, and you got what the hospital called benzodiazepines and all that shit in your system. That's why you got all that shit trying to work in your system at once. Not to mention you got high blood pressure and all them shit to get all them three of them drugs together. The main drugs you do do is trying to keep you up. That all that's keeping you up. So then on top of that, he would always say, another thing, he would always be like, hey, every time I had to get it, the pill start making me not feeling good, which I blame the pill. No, I blame the stress. That was stress. Come to find out. That's what the, uh, this mail, damn mail truck just broke past, into the circle, it did a circle. You turn around in the circle, okay, parking like, that is stupid as hell, and it's going to do it again. That's dumb as hell. But yeah, y'all, yeah, every time I get sick, when I went to the hospital, they'll be like, well, they could not find a pill in my system. But him, his pill always would pop up in his system. It's like mine would just run its course, go in there, and my body wants to take it and run its course and come on out. Like I could have been just took the pill three to uh, eight hours before I went to the hospital. And it would not be in my system. They could not find it in my blood or nowhere in my system. And he was like, how did the pill get out your system that quick? The pill don't never stay in your system that long. How? I'm like, I don't know. That's something you got to ask God. Because I do not know how that pill run its course out my system that quick. Oh, that's our mailman, y'all. But anyway, I'm like, I don't know. But I finally did admit the truth about the shit that was going on between me and him. While we was together. And yeah, another thing that I really didn't admit, I was popping that pill and... Like some ibuprofen at the same time, and like I could have been a just it's been like an hour at the least in between the two pills. I'm like I kept telling him I don't want all these damn drugs in my system. Like I just took one of those ecstasy pills, and then I gotta take an ibuprofen after that. Hell no! I got a right to say what I want in my fucking system and what I want my heart pushing through my veins. I don't want that shit in there. And yes, I am. But I say about this much addicted to it, but I got myself off of it because I don't want to spend my money on the pill. It's been many a times I asked him to get me a pill. And it's been many a times I just said, no, I don't want the pill when he went to go get it. So, yeah, I can get myself. That is pretty, y'all. The color and the way the shit shapes. But, yeah, it's been many a reasons why, many a times, days, and I done said, yes, I want the pill. I done asked for it. It's been many a times I done said, no, I don't want the pill. So yeah, I don't, don't think um, my person, in my personal opinion, I don't think I'm super addicted to it, like to the point where I have to go live in a sober house or something like what you call Wendy Williams is supposed to say she living in. But I mean, I will take one, but the way I'm feeling now, the way my head hurting, that's exactly how it made me feel then. 
And I think like if I wait so many amount of months and days and years off with me not taking the pill, when I if I do take pop one, y'all, it's gonna have my ass out of that wire. It's gonna still kick back in like it did the first time, have me up. But yeah, y'all, I just want to come on here and share that with y'all. Don't ever get or use or it, get addicted to drugs or pill popping or any kind of drug for that matter. Now, weed, I can say, yeah, because I don't consider it a drug. I consider this as nature because it grows out the ground. Mother Nature give it to us. God give that well. God don't give it to us. We just take it on our own, but it give, it's grown naturally. So, it's a plant. So, yeah. But if you are, there is help out there. There's different kinds of help you can get. You don't have to just look at it as like that makes you a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad person. It just makes you through. That's how fast I used to drive with this motherfucker picking at me all the time. So you gonna kill us? You gonna kill us? No, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. And it's sad that I had to think like that, but yeah. That's just how I thought being in an abusive relationship. Anything to get you out. But yeah. There's help out there, y'all. I'm finna in it. Bye.